Howdy, howdy, guys, and welcome back to Cruiser Man's Inventions. So, as you saw in my last video, guys, I had one of these pump motors here out of a washing machine motor hooked up to this little motor here, DC one that came out of a, a um, cordless drill. Uh, so, anyway, this pump motor here is a brand new one, and I'm about to explain to you how this. Is wired because this is the first time this has ever been seen on YouTube how these are actually wired in here now this is the old one here that's the magnet part in the middle I'm kind of fast-forwarding up a little bit guys you're gonna to have to watch my other videos to catch up with this stuff if you don't know what I'm talking about this here is the metal core that this goes into right like this and it goes in here like that can you see that like that it goes in a lot further right and a lot further all the way in all the way in. In, anyway and then but first over here is is the this is kind of coming to two but if you can see the hole in here that's where that goes right the way through, right, and it sits up the top here. It goes right the way through those two holes, sits up the top here with that hole, and then that magnet goes into the top here, like that. So that's the way that that is made, right? But what I'm saying here in this video, guys, is on this part here, which has got these two coils on, I'm about to show you the way that they are wound. Okay, so I happened to get one of these. It's kind of newish. It came out of a uh, a washing machine that was fairly good, actually. I don't even know if it still worked or not. But there's the impeller side of it, which I got to ground off, and then you're left with a, a shaft, kind of like this here. Man, this light. We Dark light, dark light over here in New Zealand at the moment. It is crappy. Ah, this light is shocking. Anyway, so, okay, how are the coils wound? You're probably wondering, what's that? I don't even know what that is, but it's a capacitor of some sort. And when I hook this up to that motor, I'm going to measure before and after it, okay? So, the first one here, when you get these guys... They actually have a proper line. Uh, th there's a plastic case that fits over them, like this. Right? And on it, it has... On the right side, it has an L. I don't know if you can see that, but it has an L. That's your line. And over here, I'm sorry I chopped that out, but it has an N. I'm just going to say it. So... That's L, and that's N. There's two pins here. There's one here, and there's one here. So, L, N. Okay, got that? Right. What does that mean? So, we go back over to some plans that I just quickly drew up, because this, this is where it gets into the nitty-gritty of all this stuff, guys. Right? Okay. So, looking at the back of this... God, that light is shit. Come on. Pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Here we go. Here we go. Looking at the back of this, which is the diagram of this. Now, on the right-hand side where it says L, it is wound clockwise. With that same piece of wire... Because it doesn't part, it goes one piece of wire and it wraps all the way around clockwise and then it loops over to the other side of that bar here. Alright. To the other side. But it goes anti-clockwise. And that is actually negative. So it does actually have a polarity. I can't actually get my camera up there probably far enough for you guys to see that crossover point. There's a wire that goes from the right side to the left side, and it crosses over, and it's the same wire. They're not two separate. They are two separate coils, but they're the same piece of wire. Okay, you get what I'm saying? There's two p 
pins. There's only two pins here. There's not... This is... It's not that this has got two pins and this has got two pins. And it inductively gets power from this one when you put power in. And then it collects it to that one. No. This is the same loom. It's the same piece of wire. All the way from this coil to this coil. The only difference is this is wound clockwise. That's wound anti-clockwise. And there's this thing here. See that thing? In between. I don't even know what that is. Is it a spark gap? I, I don't know. But I'm going to measure it. But I thought this would be interesting to everybody to see that. And that's how it's wired. Now let's have a, another look at the diagram. So, so we have on the right side, we have wound clockwise. Look, this is a tribute to Jura Marin, guys, that I'm doing right now. And, uh, you know, he's done a lot of marvellous work. And uh, I know I've done a lot of marvellous work too. That's why I'm doing a tribute to, for him. It's because he hasn't been online for a long time. And uh, he sure as hell didn't show the way that this was wired. And since I have one, and I can clearly see it, and I have all the diagram written down for you, now I can show you. You see what I'm saying? So right side, L. It's printed. That's your line in. That is generally your brown wire today. Today, that's your brown wire. Your line in. In the old days, it used to be red. And on the left side, there is your N. That's your blue one. That used to be black in the old days. So, anyways, guys, that's how it's wired. Okay, so now you know. Alright, so. Yeah, I couldn't get into this one. This one was so hard. Look, look, it's all covered in plastic. And there's only two pins poking out. And all I saw was two wires from that coming down into an abyss of plastic. And there's that big old bubble. See what I mean? Yep, but it still has two pins here. But who knows what's in that mess, right? It wasn't until now. I got the brand new one, baby. Check that out. And when I get this flash thing going, I'm going to show you what I can do with it. Okay? So, awesome stuff, guys. Once again, thank you heaps for watching. This is going to teach you a lot. Anybody that watches this, it's going to teach us a lot of stuff. Because it's not every day you see this sort of stuff. Okay? You can use it to your advantage. Awesome stuff, guys. Once again, thank you all for watching, and thank you all for your comments. Our days are really short here. We've only got six hours of light. It's eight hours sometimes. So we're lucky to have light sometimes in winter. <laughs> we're in New Zealand, so it's winter. Anyways, guys, thank you all for watching. I'll, I'll try and get back to your comments as soon as I can. Cool, cool, guys. I'm out of the Wi-Fi region. I've got a E2 Wi-Fi region. To answer your guys questions okay so that's why it take a little while so, thank you guys freeze a man out